And right now we are looking at Pisces. Pisces for the second quarter of this lunar cycle. What do you got coming up? What is your deal? It's probably your birthday or close to it. So happy birthday, Pisces. Knight of Wands. Whoop. This is the first that the Knight of Wands has shown up. And this is the 12th of the 12 readings that I'm doing. So that's that's a thing. All right. Six of Pentacles. We're going to find out what the fucking vampire is down here. And what the thing is that you give over here. All right. With our root card of the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is the impulsive journey. So the energy that wants to come out is just getting the fuck out of wherever you are and going someplace else. And generally, when it shows up as a root, that is a good thing. So if you have the itch to go somewhere, then do it. You know, if you've been feeling this, this uh, cabin fever will say. Um, it might be time to get out of there. So, it looks like the situation that you've been in is here in a Six of Pentacles. So, the Six of Pentacles is about giving something that you have in abundance to something that will never change. Like the ghost asks the dude for a pentacle. Oh, sure, why not? Nothing changes. The ghost is still a ghost. And the ghost is going to come back and ask for another one tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, to infinity. Now, the six is about trying to help something that you cannot help. And it's, it's an eternal drain. Um, you just give your energy to it, and, and there's nothing... There's nothing that will ever change. So I tried to find out what this little figure is, right? And it's interesting. We get a Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is the emotionally driven healer. Now, this might just be talking about your need or, you know, this feeling that you have that you need to fucking help everybody. Um, and back here... This is the thing that you have in abundance, that you give freely, and it's your strength. It's your resolve. Um, if you put these together, this almost looks like you, you made a vow at some point that you would help everybody. And here's all the people, you know, that are coming up, but you can't do shit for them. That's the problem. You can't fucking change a damn thing about their about their situation, and you never could. You could give them all of your strength, and it wouldn't change anything. Um, I'm just going to put a card up here to see what we got. This is like maybe a better thing to throw the head energy into, and we get the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is competition and chaos, and this essentially says... Instead of giving all of your strength to try to help people that you can never help, um, this is saying, like, compete uh, or to fight, you know. And the Knight of Wands is also, like, super impulsive. Uh, the, it would be very helpful to have something in your life in which it was uh, a competitive thing. You know, like a competitive sport or, or a fucking video game where you're playing against other people or like whatever. But the competition is, and it could literally be strength training or like fucking martial arts or something would be a better use of your particular strength um, than throwing all of your energy down at something that will, will never change. You know, uh, living... In Minneapolis, you'd see this all the time, you know, and you'd really want to help the dude that came up and asked you for whatever. Uh, and and you could, like, 
give them something that you have and they're coming back the next day in the exact same situation and asking you for the same shit. And that will repeat every single day for the rest of your lives, you know? Uh, just understand when you give that you don't change anything, you know? Um, here, maybe this competition and or strength training or whatever would be a better use of your particular energy. And it looks like competition and impulsive travel are both very good for you Pisces. 